Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to do an unboxing of kit number 20 from the Paper Craft Society. So these are a monthly subscription box for anybody that's new and has not seen this before. They're really lovely. I can't believe we're on box number 20. Uh, the box is always decorated in the theme of the contents inside and the colours and things like that. So I'm already really liking this beautiful green and these florals. And then you've got this rose gold with the hearts there. You can see that running all on the side. So let's open this up. So this one has been designed by Katie Skilton. So it says here, to be creative is to put a little piece of your heart into each project. So first of all, we'll have a look inside the envelope and then we'll look inside the paper. I'm already loving the pink. I'm a big fan of bright pinks. So I'm excited for this one. I haven't really, I don't know too much about this one. I try not to, I don't always watch the unboxings that Lou Collins does on the Craft Stash YouTube channel. I like it to be a surprise, but I haven't even opened this myself yet. This is the first time I'm seeing it. So it says, as always, don't forget to share your makes with us at the hashtag Papercraft Society. So you get your three pockets in the envelope. So I'm going to take the papers out first. So let's have a little look here. So we've got, that looks like a watercolour card. So I think we've got two, yes, yeah, so we've got two sheets of watercolour card. So we've got these two here, which are a script, which looks like it, it could be in Spanish, possibly. And then we've got this beautiful floral one. And then we've got this green here, like the polka dots. We've got the pink kind of zigzags there. This one's the hearts. Turn that up the right way. And then we've got another zigzag. I think that's my favourite. I love that one. And then we've got another floral one. Love the colours. Reminds me a little bit of the Linda Parker box. Kind of similar um, colours running through, but these are completely different designs. I think they're really nice. Do like these script ones, so something a bit different. So you've got all of them plus the watercolour card. Then I'm going to keep, let's take that one out. I'm going to keep one of the papers so that we can see the dies. Okay, so I'm just popping it on the back there so we can see it. So I don't know, again, we'll look at the inspiration booklet briefly in a moment, but I don't think this makes a particular shape card. I think it's just to make beautiful cards. So this looks like it's going to cut this stamp here. So I'll take the stamps out at the same time. So let's turn over this piece here. So yes, yeah, so you can see it's a separate die as well. So you could just have that as a circle die if you wanted, but it will cut into that. I actually like the thought of stamping that onto the front of my card and die cutting the middle of it and having like a little aperture on the card. I think that would look really nice, but you can also die cut the outside of it. So it's a separate piece. You've then got this die looks like it would cut these here. And then this one looks like it will cut that one. I imagine that butterfly die will cut your butterfly. I love that border. A really pretty border stamp there. Really nice flowers, nice and big to, um, to colour in there. Love the little cluster of the hearts or the leaves. And then you've got sentiments. It's your birthday. Hello. Live life in full bloom. Life is an adventure. Enjoy the beautiful moments. And you make me... Um, smile <laughs> which was the other kit where i kind of stopped for a minute and i thought well what what do you add it's the die i like that and it's a really nice font if i just turn that one over there we go you can kind of see it's a nice size as well so that's the stamps and then you've also got this little circle here it's kind of like a scribble and you've got the hearts running through and then this is like a little stitch square so I imagine you could pop the butterfly in there and uh, you can do all sorts. You've got the flourishes there. Like I said, let's have a look at the inspiration booklet in a moment and then I can get more of an idea. Pop those back in there. You also get this embossing folder. So again, I am guessing that you can cut the middle out there. So that's nice. That's a really lovely heart. I haven't got anything like that one, so that's a nice, nice one to add to my stash. Okay. So in this one here, we've got two colours. So we've got a black. These are hybrid inks, 
and we've also got a teal color there which is nice and then this looks like a cream embossing powder yeah it's definitely an embossing powder which is nice you then get your little card here which always has different hints and tips on the back so this is creative minds inspire others so this is katie's top tips for creating eye-catching cards so i keep all of mine on this little ring binder here so these are all of the past 19 boxes and i do go to them i say it every time but i do use them so i'm going to keep that one out and i'm going to add that onto there then we've got some glitter card here and i thought it was in here because maybe it was shedding but it's not it's a really smooth beautiful gold there i'm going to add that into my envelope there's katie and then here is your card stock so this will be a matching card stock so let's have a look what we've got here it's a beautiful mint green there we've got that teal which i imagine is like the ink pad we've got this other color here that one look at that yellow pop these really go really well together different tone of yellow there and then a light that's more of a more of a lighter teal color whereas that's more of a mint green and then there's that pink there aren't they beautiful so i'm looking forward to making some nice projects with them and then here's the inspiration booklet here so like i said this is katie and you always get your contents what's inside a little introduction so i will have a read through all of this but i want to see what cards katie's created and other projects so she's actually done a memory box frame so you can see how that die cut like the little scribble with the hearts there's your florals there's the embossing folder on the back there let's see what cards have been made we've got a nice there's that lovely stamped image and then i think she's used the glitter with the hearts there yeah it's the glitter card that comes in the set and again there, there's a little gift box and then i've got emma here has done some party decorations that's cool with a lollipop I've not seen that style done before crackers so we've got here some inking inspiration so that's using the ink and the embossing powder and then we've got some cards here by nikki again i do really like that wreath she's die cut into that i think as well and then put the script paper in there and then we've got this one's pretty love the colors you make me smile yeah she's done a shaker so she's got little sequins and things inside of that one and well, that's nice that's my kind of style i like that one i like the way that's all been colored really pretty and then a couple of others there so vanessa she's made these ones so she's done an oval make there and again she's stamped all the leaves there so some really pretty designs so i'm looking forward to making some i'm going to do more of a fun fold with these so i need to start thinking how i want to use all of this so that's the unboxing of kit number 20 from the Papercraft Society. As always, I will link the Papercraft Society direct link in the description box below. If you click on that, you'll be able to see the different subscription offers. You could be able to look at past boxes. I know some of them are available still over on Craft Stash. And this one, I think, is still available as open stock as well. So I will I'll pop the direct link to this one so you can check that out as well. Look out for tutorials with me using this. I'm bound to use this in my Facebook Lives that I do every Monday and Friday. And I'll link those in the description box as well if you like to watch some live crafting. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.